everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm finally doing it. I'm starting to record my Disney collection. So if you watch my weekly vlogs, then you'll know that I asked how can I show you guys my Disney collection? Because it is my most requested video, literally all the time. People just wanna see my Disney collection, which is great. It's just that there's quite a lot of it. And I mean quite a lot, like disclaimer now, I'm not trying to brag. A lot of people have asked to see this video or should I say videos, I'll explain in a minute. I have spent my own money on my collection. I have not hurt anyone by doing this. Please don't have a go and say that I am immature or that I should not spend that much money on Disney. It's my choice, it's my collection, it makes me happy. Live and let live. Like, I personally have a problem. Like, I will never have enough merchandise. It is a problem. I have an addictive personality. I want something and then I move straight on to the next thing once I get it. Like, it's just who I am. My name's Sarah. I have a Disney merchandise problem. <laughs> Okay, so I'm still trying to work the lighting out down here, so I'm sorry if it changes a lot and stuff, but it's very uh, bright. Also, the rabbit's downstairs, so if you hear noises, it's the rabbit. Yes, so I asked, how would you guys like to see my Disney collection video? There is no way I can get this whole collection in one video. My Disney collection is all around my house. Cushions, cups, uh, stationery, figurines, jewelry, clothes, handbags. You name it, it's Disney. So, what I have decided to do, which I hope is okay, is I'm going to do a collection of videos. So that means that my Disney collection will be broken up into collections and put into a series of videos. So for instance, today we are starting with mugs, glasses, uh, flasks, uh, teapots, plates and bowls. So cups and like crockery, I'll probably just put in the title mug collection because that is a long title, like glasses, plates and all that jazz. But basically that's what we're gonna try and do today. And then the next video might be handbags and purses and makeup bags and suitcases. And then the next collection might be pajamas. Uh, that'll need one on its own. The next one might be Disney shoes, then Disney clothes, uh, Disney jewelry, like you name it. I'll probably be doing a video on it. I'm gonna try and do one a week for the next however long this goes on for and then finally when we get through the bulk of it, I'll just do update videos. So I hope that's okay, I'm really excited. Also, one more quick thing, I know my intro is ridiculously long, but I am shooting downstairs today because I have chronic fatigue and there is a lot going on right now around me and it's just too tiring for me to get everything upstairs and show everything from up on a stool. Everything is like just kind of accessible to me now. Like I'm quite low to the floor on the sofa, like compared to when I'm on the stool upstairs where I normally record my videos. So this is just a lot easier for me, my chronic fatigue. I'm sorry, I hope that is okay. So honestly, grab yourself a cup of tea because this is going to be a long one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <gasps> mm -hmm. Good Lord. I've just spilled that on myself and it was really hot. And yes, I'm wearing pajamas bottoms because honestly, I just need to be comfy right now. This is going to take a while. Put your jammies on. Grab a cup of tea and put your jammies on. Let's do this. Right, we're gonna start with my favorite cup collection. So we're gonna start with cups and we're gonna start with my favorite cup collection. So I will give you close-ups of everything, do not worry. But we're gonna start with this collection that came out this time last year. So I got these this time last year when you are watching this, when this is uploaded. It was last um, August to December this collection was out. I got all of them but Snow White. Oh, uh, I really don't wanna smash anything. <laughs> so this is the Aurora cup in this collection. There were five cups in this collection. Aurora, Cinderella, Ariel, Belle, and Snow White. Like I said, I didn't get Snow White. Um, all of the other cups are very pastel. Belle is there. Um, I'll show you her in a second, she's got tea in her. They were all very pastel and pretty and Snow White was red and navy and I just didn't feel like she went. And truthfully, Snow White is one of my least favorite princesses so I just didn't get Snow White. And I really don't regret it either. I just think that these look so much better on their own. So it's just got like a full length on the back there, a really pretty swirly handle. A little quote there, which I can't read backwards, so enjoy reading that. <laughs> and then it's got Aurora on the front there, and it's got like one of the fairies. Um, I'm, I'm looking at this backwards in the display thing, so I really can't tell. And yeah, so this was the princess collection last year in Disney Store. Disney Store do two collections, sorry, I was trying to focus there. Disney Store do two collections of princess cups every year, January to July 
kind of time and then August, July, August kind of to December and then they will go in the sale until they sell out at the end of that time. So every six months there is a new princess collection and this was the one at the end of 2016 and honestly these are my favourite cups out of all of my collection. They are the perfect size for a cup of tea. I use them every day and they were £8 each. So I'll try not to take too long on every cup but this is the Ariel cup in the same collection. I think Ariel looks absolutely stunning here. Um, and then we've got flounder, so hers is purple and green. Um, Jewel of the Sea, I think that says. Really can't read it backwards. And then we've got Ariel there. Uh, and then it's green inside, and that one was eight pound as well. I'm sorry if these don't focus, focus. And the next one is Cinderella, we've got Gus there. I just love this ornate framing around the princesses. Honestly, this collection is absolutely beautiful. So I managed to pick up these three in my local Disney store. There was loads of Snow Whites left, so I had the chance to get her, but like I said, I just didn't fancy her. Okay, so really stupidly, I filled this one with tea. Um, I was already using it today, so I'll take a couple of sips so it's easy to show you, and then I'll show you Belle. Oh, hot jambalaya. Oh my God. Since when does my tea ever come out with that tea strain is so hot? Now, this one's full of tea, so this one's gonna be hard to show you. This is my fault. So we've got Belle, the full length of our there. Now there's gonna be lipstick around this side because I've just took a drink. I'm also trying to be really careful. Oh, there's the lipstick. <laughs> this one says make your own fairy tale. Yay, I can read it. And then it's yellow inside and it's also full of tea and has lipstick on it. Hey, but these are my favorites. They are the perfect size. Like they fill this, which was from Primark. Um, tea leaves that I strain my tea with because I like my tea strong and these exactly fit that with the exact right amount of milk that I like um, almond milk and honestly just I love these cups a lovely girl called Grace actually who I speak to on Instagram picked this up for me from Disneyland Paris because I got the other three and then the movie was kind of scheduled the live action to come out at the end of last year obviously it came out in March beginning of this year so everyone was going like Belle merchandise crazy so Belle suddenly was very hard to get so Grace um, picked up this for me from Disneyland Paris so the next collection that came out there was five of them I only got two of them because I absolutely adore the shape of these but they are too small for a cup of tea uh, I fell in love with this one though because of the colours I'll show you close up and then I ended up getting it and then I realised it wasn't too small because I could just pour the rest of my tea strainer in and it wasn't like too strong, didn't need more milk adding, blah, blah, blah. So I thought, you know what, I am gonna get them all. I got Ariel and then Tiana, I couldn't find in any store. I tried a lot of stores. I don't, I heard a rumor she wasn't released in the UK, so Tiana was green. Um, Rapunzel, I didn't like so much because she was quite a dull purple. And then the other one was Snow White, who again, I'm not the massive like fan of, but I did kind of want the whole collection, but they went in the sale the day before I went to Disneyland in June. And when I got back from Disneyland, they were all gone. So I only have two from this collection. I'm sorry if I seem like I'm rushing, but um, we just have a lot to get through and I don't want to blab too much because I know what I'm like. So this one is Cinderella. And honestly, this is absolutely gorgeous, this cup. It's just so, oh, the blue. And then that's iridescent pink in there. I don't know how well it's coming off on camera, but it is absolutely gorgeous. And then this is the Ariel one, who is looking very nice in the purple and the green. I love this ornate around here, it's just so gorgeous. By the way, I have yellow on my fingernails because I was spraying uh, something yesterday for the sitting room, so please ignore my yellow fingernails. It's not like muck or weirdness. I was spray painting yesterday, honestly I was. Okay, so we'll move on to the collection that is out while I'm filming this, um, and it came out the, like, July, so after those ones, and it will be out if you watch this when I'm putting this up till December, and then the new collection will come out in January after these ones have sold off. So these were eight pounds as well. The Disney Princess collections are always eight pounds, no matter what size they are, as far as I knew. So I have Ariel. There's four in this collection. There's Ariel, Belle, Jasmine, and Rapunzel. I intended on getting Jasmine, but when I went in and seen the artwork for Ariel, I just fell in love with it. So I got Ariel. But I now wish that I had gotten Jasmine because I actually don't really like the shape of this cup and I don't really like drinking out of it. So I don't want to spend my money on another one if I know I'm not going to use them because I actually use all of my cups. Um, obviously not like all of them every day, but I make my way through them sort of thing. Um, so, and that just says a heart as big as the ocean. Basically, I don't like this one as much because it is a very funny shape to drink out of and I spoke to other people about it as well and they're not fond of it either. They're actually very dull as well, the colours. Um, so I kind of still want jasmine just because it's a nice blue and I don't have a jasmine cup, but 
I just don't drink out of it. It's just not a nice shape. It's a weird kind of bell shape. So I don't think I'll be getting, as nice as the artwork is, I just don't think I'll be getting the rest of these. If they go on the sale, which they will in January, I might try and grab Jasmine. And ugh, I think I'll try and grab Jasmine, but yeah, I'm not getting any more of this collection. So I'm just gonna start grabbing cups now. Um, I'm not gonna do them in any particular order because that's gonna take too long. Yeah, we're just gonna grab and go. So this is the poison apple cup that came out at the B. I wanna see. Well, it came out this year. So yeah, this one I managed to get in store when it was first released. The white is actually iridescent, so this is the poison apple from Snow White. This is the only Snow White themed cup I have, uh, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so it's just the poison apple with the iridescent white poison running down and then it's just red inside. And it's kind of shaped like an apple as well, it's quite cool. If I remember rightly, this one was about £12 in Disney store. And I do actually really like this one, it's really nice to drink out of and it's really funky as well. So this is a Finding Dory one, um, I actually got this well after the movie came out. It went into the sale and uh, I'd had my eye on it when it was full price. And then it went into the sale and I managed to get it. So when you put hot water in, Hank actually disappears, like completely disappears apart from his eyes, I think. Or does he all disappear? No, his eyes stay there, but the rest of him disappears. Um, yeah, so this was meant to be like 11 or 12 pound, just because it's like a thermal one. And I wanted it, but I was like, not for the price. And then like months later, I'd even forgotten about it. They suddenly put loads of stock back out in store and I got it for like a fiver, so yeah. Disney store. So I want to say that this is the cup uh, princess collection from the beginning of 2016 but I could be wrong. Um, I could be wrong. Maybe they were just in parks but when I was in Disneyland in June this one was there and there was a Elsa one and I was told that it was a full collection and they were just selling off the rest of them. I was going to get Elsa but I just kind of got Rapunzel. So I only have one from this collection and I picked it up in Disneyland and it was about eight euros. The nice thing about this one is that you can't tell on camera but it has a purple sheen all around it and it's absolutely beautiful but it just doesn't come across on camera. Um, I don't know, can you see that? That purple sheen or does it just look like a glaze? I don't know. But yeah, so this was in Disneyland Paris and it was about eight euros and I got it in June and it might still be there now, I'm not sure. I'm really embarrassed about my nail. Honestly, it's spray paint. I spray painted a frame over there and I can't get the yellow out. It's so embarrassing. I've managed to get some of the yellow off. Sorry guys, how disgusting am I? So this next one, it was from when the live action Beauty and the Beast came out and this one is from Clinton's Retail and it was six pounds. So I don't think there's much of this collection left in stores. Um, there was a couple of uh, yeah, there was a couple of cups in the collection, but I like this one because it was only six, and some of the other cups were eight. So it's just the blue on the back there, and um, and it's got like that on the front there, and then inside it says perfect for each other. Uh, yeah, so Clinton's retail six pound. I thought that was a great price for the size cup. It, it's it holds a good cup of tea in it. So the next cups are a pair that kind of go like that. I hope you can see that. It says, I'll be your mini and you be my Mickey on the back. So these were a gift off a friend last Christmas. So I think she got them from Amazon. Um, I'm not sure, but I've searched them um, when I did them in my Christmas haul or a Disney haul a few months ago. And uh, they came up on Amazon. The, I can't remember how much they were, maybe about £10. But yeah, so just a nice couple's Mickey and Minnie cup thing there. Why are you not focusing on my cup? There we go. And they're just playing inside. So the next cup is the live action Alice in Wonderland one. This was a gift as well, but this one was from Disney Store. And I know it was from Disney Store because I've seen it in Disney Store. And I said I really liked it. And the person who was with me got me it for my birthday. So it's the live action one. It is just like one cup and it is a bit jaggedy inside, but uh, yeah, it's basically just like one cup. I'll be honest, I don't use this one. It's um, quite, um, narrow it doesn't really fit a good size cup in like cup of tea and even though it's quite like tall um i just use this as a display one on my disney shelves upstairs so this next one i got years ago when disney first bought um star wars from lucas film so i bought this one like years ago but i think he's still available or there's something very similar um in stores now and it's just a bit more like rounded and things it's just r2 D2 and it's a very very big cup so I do not use him um, I have a few times but honestly he's massive so I use him on my display upstairs so next we have a Primark cup this is Bambi I actually just had cake in a cup out of this cup last night so I hope I've washed it okay but it's got the rose gold on the side 
around here as well and then it's got Bambi on there and it's just beautiful this one the colors originally this one was supposed to be rose gold inside um on the Primark's prototype on their page but for some reason when it came out it wasn't so this was five pound in Primark and uh, yeah the next cup is another Disney star cup oh he's got cake still on him ah me and my boyfriend had cake in a cup last night um, and my boyfriend used this cup and I used the Bambi one so <laughs> I hope I've cleaned it properly. So this is a Baymax cup and um, he's very big and what's cool as well if you look inside it's like the more tea you drink the happier you get, I don't know if you can see that. Um, and it's, it's a really nice kind of like matte kind of white but other than that it's very plain and um, it's just dome shaped and it's got like a stick uh, like a plaster on the back off when he pops one of his arms and um, if you've seen the movie big hero six so i want to say this one was about oh i don't know 15 pound 13 12 12 pound i'm not sure he was over a tenner um, I'm not sure if he's still in stores, he might be, I picked him up a few weeks ago now but he's lovely but he's massive so admittedly he doesn't get used that much. So this is probably the only cup I got from the Beauty and the Beast live action that came out at the beginning of the year. I did want the Art of Bell one but as far as I know it didn't even come into my store. So I absolutely adore the shape of this cup, like if I could make all princess cups this shape this is what they would look like. Like, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Most of the Art of Belle ones, or like Art of Princess ones, sorry, do have this kind of shape. So I do need to get myself some more of the art ones. The Art of Snow White though that came out a few weeks ago, as far as I know, didn't have a cup this shape, or I probably would have got it even though she's not my favorite. But I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. I remember when I bought this, um, I bought it before the movie, and I was thinking to myself like, oh, Emma Watson, Ugh, is she really gonna be a good Belle? And I didn't use it for weeks. And I wasn't sure whether to put it in the giveaway and then after I seen the movie I fell in love with it. I fell in love with her as Belle. She is my live action Belle and I absolutely adore this cup now. And that cup was Disney Store and it was about £12. The next one is Chip. He was originally a Walt Disney World uh, exclusive and then they brought him into the UK stores. I managed to get him first day he came into the UK stores I want to say. Um, I know a girl that works in the Newcastle store, Sarah, hi if you're watching, and she put one away for me and I don't know how much he is, I want to say £15.99. So I was very lucky to get him, although obviously they restocked him. He's not the cutest chip cup, but he doesn't have to do the job. I love drinking my cup of tea out of this one. Um, he's a really good size. He pretty much fits in like one of those tea strainer things, just like a little like sip or two and then the rest fits in. Uh, yeah, so I absolutely love this cup. And then he's got like his fake chip on the side there. Yeah, he's not the cutest, but he's a good size and it's nice. You do feel like you're drinking out of chip, it's cute. So I have another two chip cups. This one is technically a cup, but it's a kiddies cup, but I thought I'd show it anyway. So it still has the price on actually. This one was £4.50 in Disney store and it's plastic. So I got him because the other ones hadn't come out yet, like the ceramic ones. And I didn't know that we were getting the What Disney World coming over into Disney store. So it was £4.50 and he goes on the display upstairs. And then the next chip cup, Oh lord, the one who started it all. Hmm. <laughs> um, this is the Primark chip cup. Um, I managed to get him quite quickly. Uh, a good friend of mine, Rasheen, picked it up for me. So I was really lucky and he was only five pound. Um, he's still in stores now, if you can find him. I'm sure you all know what I'm on about. <laughs> so he is really cute. He is definitely the cutest out of all the chip cups I have seen in all of the shops at the minute. All of the shops are jumping on the bandwagon, like Primark's got one, like this one, um, Asda's got one. So all stores are bringing these cups out now, so don't worry if you don't get the Primark one. He is really cute, he's too small for a cup of tea for me personally, so I use him as display. So the next one is one of my favourite ones, this is from the Classics Collection 2012. Um, I actually wanted this whole collection, but... The thing is with me is this, if I decide to start a cup collection in Disney store, I never get all of them. As soon as I decide that I'm going to start collecting them, they go on sale or they sell out or something. So I didn't want to get this collection because I was like, there's no way I can get them all. But my boyfriend got me this one and literally as soon as he did, the rest of them sold off. And I was gutted because I wanted the Pocahontas one. I remember that one very clearly in my head. Yeah, I would have loved this whole collection, so I only got Mulan from this one. So this was 2012 Disney Store, and I'm guessing it was the Princess collection or whatever, and it was about £8, but it was a while ago. So it's quite a plain shaped cup, um, but the artwork on it is beautiful. I did used to use it when my boyfriend first got me it, but now it goes on display. 
and it is just plain inside and then it just says like classics 2012 on the bottom there so i certainly don't have the world's biggest cup collection um i used to live with my nana so basically i lost a lot of my childhood disney things when my parents moved into their own houses and um, so i lost a lot of childhood things in general um, and then i moved in with my nana and i couldn't really put all of my disney obsessionness into my nana's house it wasn't fair it was her house and this house was full so I didn't um, get, I didn't buy much Disney when I lived with my nana. So it was only when I moved in um, after a few years because I was a student in Skint that I started building up the collection. So this collection is not the biggest, but what I do have, I'm very grateful and happy to have. So yeah, it's only been since last August, apart from that Mulan one, that I have really been collecting cups. I actually had a Disneyland Paris. It was matte black, pink gloss inside, pink Tinkerbell, pink gem as our little pom-pom on our shoe. My absolute favorite cup. And when I went to uni, one of my flatmates stole it. I'm only telling you about this cup because honestly, if I still had it, it would be my favorite cup ever. I absolutely adored it. So if anybody ever sees it on eBay, please tell me because I'm desperate to get it back. Okay, so we're gonna move on to tea flasks and sippy cups now. So I've really restrained myself on flasks because I've been really good. So I have this Ariel one, which is my absolute favorite flask of all of my flasks. It is just, sometimes when I have tea out of flasks, I feel like they taste funny, but for some reason this one doesn't. It's just got lovely artwork, it tastes nice, it keeps it warm, and it was Primark, and it was probably about 450. So it's just got Ariel all over it, and it's just green. Um, I got it last year in Primark, can't remember how much it was, um, I don't think it's in stores anymore. And then my favourite villain, Maleficent, I got this one, so many curses, so little time. It's got Maleficent on there and it says Team Bad, so if you remember Primark brought out Team um, Bad and Team Good stuff, um, the beginning of the year I want to say, and this is probably the only thing I got from that collection just because I found it a tiny little not to my taste, but I did like this just because it was Maleficent. So on a like sippy cup type things, I got this R2D2 one um, from Primark, probably last year. It's just got R2D2 on it basically, and it's actually my boyfriend's because I bought it for him for Christmas. And it was probably only around 450. And it's just an R2D2 sippy cup. So this collection, as far as I'm aware, is still in Disney store. Um, this was about $6.99 or $5.99. It's a little bit dusty because I haven't used it for a while. I'm really tempted to get the Belle one out of this collection, uh, but I have a lot of Beauty and the Beast stuff at the minute because of the movie, so I've just got this one. I love the colours on this one, and the straw is supposed to be colour changing, but it does not change colour. Does anyone else have one of these colour changing straw sippy cups and the straw doesn't change colour? Because I, like... It's supposed to change red, but it doesn't. Like, I've tried hot, I've tried cold. It does not change from blue. <laughs> so it's just got Alice on there with Cheshire Cat. And yeah, it's really pretty. It's really nice to drink out of. This lid screws on instead of just like sitting on there. So you know when you've got a drink in there, it's really secure. But yeah, as I say, it does not change colour, that straw. <laughs> and the last sippy cup I have is one that I was desperate to get my hands on as soon as I've seen it online. And I managed to get it in Disneyland Paris. Uh, last September. I didn't even realise that he was in Disneyland Paris. He was in the Studios Park in um, Studio One in one of the rest like restaurants. Uh, one of the quick service ones. I don't really know if you call them that in Paris, but I'm sure you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, he's a, a sippy cup. I didn't use him when I got him because I wanted to keep him clean. And I think I might have used him once in that. Oh, oh. Oh, good lord. I think I might have used them once in the house and then I decided not to use them. And he actually goes on my display upstairs. So he was around 12 euros with a meal in Disneyland Paris last year. And he's meant to look dirty. So if you're thinking, Sarah, he's filthy. Like, he's meant to look like that. He's not dirty, I promise. But yeah, it's just a cute BB-8. And yeah, I remember I really wanted one. And we just happened to be getting food. And then he was there on the till and I was like, can I have one of them cups? And she was like, mm-hmm. And she didn't say how much she was or anything. And then we went and sat down and Matthew was like, you do realize that sippy cup thing was like 12 euros. I was like, oh well, I really wanted them. It's okay. <laughs> Ooh, man, I'm tired. Whew. 
Okay, so we're gonna move on to teapots now. So I have three Disney teapots to show you. This was the first one that I got. This one I got in September last year in Disneyland Paris. Um, I seen it and I absolutely fell in love with it. It was a little bit pricey. It was 60 euros. It's a little bit dusty because I display it upstairs. I used it a few times when I first got it, but it's not very big. It's maybe a cup and a half and it's just a bit awkward and it's very hard to strain tea leaves in there. So I don't use it. Um, it is gorgeous though. And it's displayed in my Alice in Wonderland section on my uh, shelves upstairs. So yeah, this was Disneyland Paris. So only the middle um, spout actually works. The other ones are just like pretendy. So we've got Alice on that side. And then we've got the Mad Hatter on that side. And I absolutely adore this. I remember me and Matthew both seen it, like my partner. And we were just like, yeah, that's very me. I need it. And it was 60 euro, but I love it. It's one of my prized possessions. And yeah, I just really wanted it. So the next one, we had a little bit of drama with this morning. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably know what I'm about to say. But this is the Mrs. Potts from Primark. A lot of people display theirs, which is absolutely fine. I decided to use mine because I'd always wanted one and she is the perfect size for two cups of tea and I was like I'm gonna use her and it'll just be really nice and I've always wanted one and even Disney store even in America doesn't sell them anymore they're very hard to like get a working teapot not just an ornament so Primark finally got them in £12 and um, they're still kind of in stores now if you get there when they're releasing them and I was so excited when I got one. My auntie picked me one up. I've been using her about four or five times. Washed her this morning, hand washed her gently in the sink and all of this gold pretty much came off. I was absolutely gutted. So I painted her this morning with fabric paint because it's all I have, um, gold fabric paint. It was the same color gold. So I had to paint her with that because I was like, oh my God, what do I do? I'm like, I can't get another one. I can't return her and swap her because they don't have any more. So I just had to paint her. And honestly, I think I've done a decent job. Like you can't tell that that's paint. Like, can you tell? I don't think you can tell. I'm just gonna have to display her and admit that I can't use her. So yeah, I painted her. She'll just have to be displayed. You don't know unless you really know and have a look. But I've learned my lesson and if you have one of these, gentle hand washing doesn't even work so don't use that <laughs> battery's dying not surprised two seconds okay i have to change the battery so i'm sorry if the angle has changed at all so as i was saying yes do not use her she is definitely display only and hopefully you can't tell where i've painted but this is my mrs potts i absolutely adore her but i am also very gutted that i had to paint her it was basically around this bit here um so yeah and she is a working teapot, but that doesn't mean that you can use her. <laughs> it says underneath, um, not suitable for microwaves, hand wash only. And that's what I was doing. I'm so good at it. But anyway, I think I've done a good job on painting and you can't tell. So hopefully once she's displayed, you won't be able to tell very much. But yeah, so that is my Mrs. Potts from Primark and she was £12. She looks very nice with the matching cup. And that's how they are now going to be displayed. I just need to find somewhere to put them. Um, so they can be appreciated in all their glory. I don't think it looks, I don't think you can tell. I think I've done a good job, but I was very upset. So this next thing is very special. I absolutely adore it. Um, I went on a bit of a hunt for this one, but this is a tea for one. So it's a plate with a saucer and then a little teapot on top. And then it like separates like that. Honestly, it's absolutely gorgeous. So this is from Clinton's retail. Um, it was £15 and I bought it when the Beauty and the Beast collection came out. So I'm gonna have to stand up to show you this one just because it's a bit heavy for me to hold up to the camera. So it says, be our guest. It's got like the gold on there, which may I say, it does not come off when you hand wash it. So don't know what's wrong with that Mrs. Potts. And then it says exactly the same on the other side. And then it comes across separate and it's really pretty. And it says on here as well, be our guest. So how nice is that? And that was 15 pound. So now we're on to glasses. Oh, my back's starting to go. Woo! This is a lot of cups. So the first glasses are these ones from Disneyland Paris. As far as I'm aware, when I went in June, um, two or three months ago, wow. When I went in June, um, these were still there, I think. There was also an Olaf one. Uh, there was a few, but I got these four and it was 12 euros for the four. If I'm gonna smash one of these, this is the point in which it's gonna happen. So this is a chip and deal one and it's just got chip 
and deal there and then it says Disneyland Paris around the back there and then Minnie on there and Disneyland Paris Mickey and Disneyland Paris <laughs> and Donald Duck and can you guess Disneyland Paris <laughs> The next glass is technically like more like a plastic, plastic, a plastic tumbler, a plastic tumbler. And this one is uh, on it and Elsa, so it's a frozen one. And this was from Pound World and it was a pound. I'm pretty sure I've got two of these actually, but I'm not sure where the one is, but they're exactly the same. So I don't know if it's coming across, but they do ever so slightly move because they're like holographic. I really don't know if that's coming across. And it just says frozen and it's blue inside. So I have another really similar one. This is full of water because I have some water next to me and this is the glass that I'm using today. And this was Primark and this was a pound. And this one has, uh, hang on, I'll give you a close up, but I'll have to be careful. So it's got Aurora there, Cinderella there, Belle there, and Snow White. And then just background to Aurora. So that one was a pound in Primark and that was like last year, but it is one of my favorites. So the next glasses are a set of four but I have absolutely no idea where the blue one is. Um, I think my boyfriend must have used it to catch a spider somewhere. No, that's a lie. Matthew doesn't catch spiders. He makes me catch them. I have no idea where the blue one is. I have looked everywhere, but it is exactly, it is exactly the same but blue. So I'll just show you one of these because they're going to be hard to show. What colour is going to come up better on camera? Maybe the purple one. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's got little Mickey heads all over it. And basically they're all just like this but a colour and these were in Primark and I think it was five for four pound no it was four for five pound or four for four pound so that's all of my glasses cups tumblers and flasks and teapots so next we'll go on to plates and bowls I don't have many of these at all because it's something that I'm just starting to collect so every time I go to Disneyland Paris now in the future I'm going to be picking up a bowl and I want to start collecting the Kath Kidson tea plates every time she brings out a Disney collection. I stupidly missed out on the 101 Dalmatian uh, tea saucer uh, a couple of months ago because I was like, oh, it'll not sell out. <laughs> Why would you even think that, Sarah? So I went onto the website a few days after the launch of the 101 Dalmatians collection and it had sold out and it's now £40 on eBay. So I have not made that mistake and the Peter Pan one came out a few days ago and I have ordered myself a Peter Pan Tinkerbell tea plate. Annoyingly, it comes tomorrow and I'm filming this today. So I'll have to do that in an update video. So I have a plate coming tomorrow from the Kath Kitson range. Um, so I only have two plates to show you and one bowl until I manage to collect more from Disneyland Paris. So the only plates I have at the minute are these ones. Like I said, I want to start collecting like nicer ones. I was really tempted to get the Christmas one in Disney store last year. So if they bring out another one, I might do that. We were in Primark. I searched high and low for these for months. Finally got them £4 for two. And then the next day I got loads of people messaging me saying that they'd reduce them to £2. And I was like... You know what it is. I searched for these for months. I buy them, finally, chuffed with myself. And then the next day they reduce them. But yeah, so two plasticky Mickey plates. I actually haven't even managed to use them yet. And then the absolute last thing is my first bowl, a uh, Disney bowl, and hopefully my first of many because I want to start collecting Disney balls like I said every time I go to Disneyland Paris so this one is a 25 years of stars one in other words Disneyland Paris 25th anniversary ball there was two different ones this was the more expensive one it was the 3d kind of one like the kind of raised so it's got all of them there in their 25th anniversary um outfits and then it should say there we go 25 years of stars and yeah, and they are kind of like raised. I really don't know if you can tell. And then inside there it says Disneyland Paris 25. And it just says the anniversary underneath there. I've been sat here that long. Like I can see the lights change. So I hope that hasn't been too annoying. I am exhausted. Oh, my back. So I'm pretty sure that is everything. I have searched the house high and low to make sure I haven't missed anything out. But knowing me, I probably will find a cup somewhere. I feel like I definitely had more cups. But never mind. Um, yeah. Whew, we got there. As I said, this is the first of many. I have no idea what the next one will be. I'm thinking maybe handbags and purses and makeup bags and like suitcases. Suitcase, I have one Disney suitcase. Um, I'm thinking maybe do that next week, but I'm open to ideas. Like I said, there's gonna be quite a few. There's gonna be shoes. Um, ugh, 
there's gonna be a lot. So let me know what you would like to see next if you kind of know what I have in my collection and I'll try and do that next week. But as I say, I do have chronic fatigue and these videos are gonna be quite hard for me to do. I really wanna do them though and I enjoy doing them and I really have been meaning to share my Disney collection with you for so long because I'm very proud of it. So I love doing these videos and any suggestions you have would be great. So to celebrate that I have finally gotten my butt in the gear and started recording my collection videos, I thought we would have a giveaway. So I'm going to be giving away a Mrs. Potts and a chip cup to one lucky person. So not these ones, because these are mine, but I have a brand new Mrs. Potts still in the box and a chip cup still in the box. But they're in my car, my boyfriend's took my car to work today, so that's really annoying. But trust me, they are brand new. So if you do win these, don't use them, display them. Learn from my mistakes. I bought them of my own money and I'm just gonna give them away. All you have to do is make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, give this video a thumbs up, and then write in the comments below which was your favorite thing from my collection and what is your favorite thing in your collection. Or you could even tell me about a cup that you never managed to get that you really want. I really want the Art of Aurora cup and I never managed to get it. I'm so being greedy here. I would like, I would like. So yeah, just let me know below what was your favorite in my collection or what what is your favorite in your collection or what cup did you never manage to get and you still dream about i can check if you're subscribed to me so please do make sure you follow the rules the competition is open internationally so you can enter where you are do not worry i will send it to you i will put it on the screen when the giveaway is running till because off the top of my head i can't think right now and if you are under the age of 16 please do get permission off your parents before you enter this because i will need your address if you win to send out the giveaway items to you i will also be running the giveaway over on my instagram if you want in over on there you can enter on there as well and then it's just two chances for your name to go into the hat the rules for entering over on instagram will be on that post it'll just be the same follow me on instagram and then answer the question that's on instagram and like the picture <laughs> i'm gonna stop talking because this has clearly been a very long video i hope you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up if you did look out for the next video in the series there will be one hopefully every week subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of the disney collection series that's coming up i also will be getting around to the disneyland paris videos that i've been meaning to do including uh what's in my bag how to pack how to plan disneyland paris and um, eating plant-based at disneyland paris i'm gonna get on top of these disney videos i promise i'm gonna stop talking i'll see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>